guys so we are heading to uh, my wife's grandparents house and we are picking up a truck that they are gifting to me shut up anyways we're heading my wife's grandparents house and uh, we're picking up a truck that they have gifted me and Patricia um, it is a 1994 Chevy three-quarter ton eight lug four-wheel drive diesel um, I've not had a diesel with the OBS body style, so um, we're going to go pick it up, see if it'll get started. We're going to put a new battery in it and check oil on it. And Daniel and Joshua are following behind us here in the uh, in his work truck. So we're going to see if we can't get it started and get it home and clean it out see what all it needs, but you I'm excited. To, you had to church it up, didn't you? A little bit. Yeah, it, it's a 6.5. Yeah, it's They're a 6.5. They're not five. the greatest. Yeah. But it'll be For cool. The price, yeah. I mean, it doesn't. It ain't it. costing me nothing, and it'll be cool to have that truck running. Patricia says that her, uh, her and her granddad used to ride around in it when she was a kid. So it'll be cool to have it running again and be able to drive it. Maybe drive it over to their house for Christmas and stuff if we can get it running quick enough. So, anyways, we're gonna go over there and see if we can get it running and bring it on home. So here we go. On Four. this episode of Backwoods Outdoors. It's garage. Garage. <laughs> garage edition. No juice. Lights? No juice. No juice at all. Does it have go juice? Lights? Yeah, no. Is it going to go juice? Well, there's no... I mean, it says it's full. Do a little walk around here. Putting an optimal battery in it. The squirrels have sought refuge inside the engine to make their snack, to make that their snack time place. Snack time place. Loaded. Interior is pretty clean. I mean, seat could use a little patching up, but put seat covers on it. Yeah. <sighs> Original radio and everything. Yeah, it's just some More fuses. She's beeping. She's got battery. She's got battery. There's a glimmer of hope. Well, how does zip ties? That's just because. <laughs> it's just to get it to contact. When you hit a bump? This is like we'll rope. See. This is like an episode of Roadkill right exactly. now. <laughs> Got a hose for it. No. All this right. should get interesting. Start, uh, start cranking it. Right? Yep. Go, keep going. Uh, like Alright, we're going to run to the bottom of the hill, go get some brake fluid real quick, that uh, way we can pop the front brakes up, and we're going to just pull it home. So, there we go. All right, well, 
Let's pull this sucker home, I guess. This is gonna get interesting. Home. I think the thing's gonna clean up really nice. I think you leave it like it is and take it to a car show. You think what? All right, guys. Getting ready to get this truck pulled in here. Truck is in the shop. 6.5 diesel. Gotta get these batteries charged up. I just don't think they got enough juice in them. We put this Optima battery in it at the house and it wanted to fire up, but I don't think with, you know, with not having both batteries charged up, it just didn't have enough power to engage the starter. So I kind of, I wasn't sure if it would have two batteries being diesel, but especially being a 94 but it does so we'll have to get that one charged up and we're gonna change this one out and put the the duralast back in it because they're 2019 batteries so see if those will actually hold charge if not then we'll go get a core charge at AutoZone and get them changed out so, i'm getting ready to um there's the inside of it it's cool it's gonna be really nice cleaned up i think Headliner's really good in it still. It's been taken care of. All right, got the shop back over here. I'm gonna try to clean the inside of this thing out while we're waiting for dad to get here. See so if I can get it all looking good. Yeah, it did for a minute and then it started doing that when we first got it.
Uh, I put it in the cabinet over there. Should be like the third shelf, right in the front. Brake fluid for what? I bought brake fluid earlier for this. What? I bought brake fluid for this thing earlier. I don't know what they need it for though. But... Really? That's great. Yeah. Daniel, bump it over. Ready? Yeah. Do it again. All right, stop. Starter just ain't close enough to the flywheel. Pull the transmission loose enough to slide it back. Unbolt the flywheel. Put a new flywheel on it. Bolt the transmission back up. If I could spin it around and get to a spot where it would turn, it's going to come right back to this bad spot and then start slipping again. It don't mean that they're not all the way gone, but they're they're ground down because I can see part of them that's still there where it's supposed to be. That starter should be closer than that to it. If I could get the starter raised up a little bit, it probably would go on and bite into it, but there ain't no shims. It's not shimmed at all above. It's just directly bolted to it. The starter directly bolted to the block. So that ain't going to help us any. Yeah. Why'd you stop? What? Why'd you stop? It started turning. Did you just hold it? Yeah. Hold on. I don't think we're going to be doing any good, but. We gotta have a flywheel in it. That's what I thought when I heard it. Try it again. Yeah. Just get out of it. It ain't gonna work. Better turn the key off. Transmission doesn't get bolted. Gonna fly with it. Okay. Yeah. 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 What are you talking about? I can't pull you up. Can't pull you up. Crap. I just thought maybe I could get it to a new spot of Timothy. It looked like a weight room in Bullock County Dentist Office. Missing teeth. Ground down. I thought that was Washington County Dentist Office. <laughs> put that on it first and see if this is going to start. And it may have hurt the starter, so you probably might as well put a starter on it too. Need to look, drag him to the back and see what the see what the kids look like on this. Take it down. Huh? I just stripped this bolt off. There's no solenoid on it. They keep putting starters on it thinking it was a starters. And it's a freaking flywheel. Let's see what's the matter with this one. This is probably the original one. Which one is? You think? This one here? The one that. Because that one looks newer. 
I wonder if that's the original. It kicked out. Yeah, it did. Oh, it's turning. It's kicking out and turning. It's not because it's not getting enough liquid. It only goes through one side of these things. It kicked out and turned, though. It's tight. Ain't kicking out now. Hi. 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 All right, well, we got it home, it's in the shop, and uh, we crawled under it, pulled the uh, cover off of it, and the flywheel is pretty much destroyed. So, Dad's thinking we can take the rear drive shaft off, take the cross member off and slide everything back, take the flywheel off, put a new one on it. We're probably gonna have to put a new starter on it too. Two but new Yeah, two new batteries. Um, and then we're gonna see if it'll start, so. But at least now we know kind of what the problem was, because there was two starters these here, they were sitting in the bed of the truck. So I think Dad's probably right. They were probably putting starters on it, thinking that was a problem. And it was probably the flywheel the whole time. So that thing's chewed up like pretty bad. So we're gonna replace all that here coming up and try to get it done. We got the square body Jeep, whatever you call it on here. It's getting ready to get fixed so we can drive it. And then my Tahoe's going on and transmission's getting put in it. So a bunch of stuff coming up. So y'all stay tuned and uh, appreciate y'all watching. See y'all on the next one.